The Aventador SV is an Aventador that is more and less. More horsepower, 50 of them. Less weight, 110 pounds. A little less time to 60, about a tenth of a second. And more RPM to the red line, another 150 on the clock. The result is the fastest production Lamborghini ever, and they got there with tuning and tech. Spotting an SV is easy. Look for the four-pipe exhaust, unique wheels, and, oh yeah, that wing. Now, Aventadors in general are no Ford Super Duty. They're already light cars, already full of aluminum and carbon fiber body panels and structure throughout. So where did they find another 110 pounds to take out of this thing? What they did was put more carbon fiber in around the body components. They also took out the head unit. No nav, no radio, no audio system unless you really beg for it. Carpets? No. The seats, they're really church pews, are carbon fiber shells with almost no accommodation. You can move them back and forth, that's it. You'll feel the rivets under your butt. Notice a very different LCD instrument panel than we saw in the base of Entador. More prominence to the RPMs, shift indicators, and G-force gauge. And yellow. Now back here in the engine room is also more familiar territory. The architecture of this engine is the same as a non-SV. Six and a half liter V12 with direct injection, dry sump lubrication. What you're missing is any kind of blower or turbo. They don't do that in this engine room. However, you do have a lot of tweaks to the breathing. You've got a variable intake system. You've got a variable exhaust system. And in between the two, you've got a differently curved variable valve timing system. All of it about getting air in and out faster, and that's where the numbers get better. 750 horse, and it also comes at a higher RPM red line, 8,400. Torque's the same, though, 508 pound-feet. That's okay. It's still plenty. And all that goes up through kind of an interesting transmission, where many supercars use a DCT, an automated dual-clutch manual gearbox. These guys use a SCT. Instead of ping-ponging the power through two clutches, they ping-pong the power through multiple shift rods. Hence, it's called an ISR, Independent Shift Rod Technology. And thanks to that big wing out back, all that power delivery turns this car into a rocket on the road as opposed to putting it in low Earth orbit. 0 to 60, 2.8. Shift times are around 50 milliseconds. That's nipping at F1 territory. Going the other direction, all SVs have big carbon ceramic brakes standard. They haul this car to a stop from 60 in less than 100 feet. Okay, if I got to put this guy into a single phrase, it's this. One sinewy SOB. First question I know you've got is, how does the power feel on this versus a non-SV? How do you possibly tease that out unless you're on the track? And we're not. I mean, come on, another 50 horse when you're already at this level? I'll be honest, I can't feel it. What I do feel, though, is the wonderful breathing they use to get there, and that you notice at almost every RPM range. Sweet. Now, it wasn't long ago that I drove the base of Entador, and I recall it being a little more compliant than this. This one's got a real grit to it. It's just hard everywhere, from where you sit to the heavy, heavy load you get on the wheel with this new adaptive steering system. And, of course, it's got the adaptive suspension as well, magnetorheological technology that I find is calibrated very firm, as you might imagine in this car. I'm bringing that up because a lot of supercar makers these days actually are trying to make their supercars more palatable on the road every day. This one doesn't make such compromises. Well, here's where my job gets real easy. CNET style is the only style you can buy a Lamborghini Aventador SV. They're all loaded by definition, and that's why they cost a little over $530,000. You're not going to afford one of these sitting there watching YouTube. But it doesn't really matter if you get back to work, because these are all sold out anyway. 500 copies, that's all they made. What the SV really stands for is the power of nuance. Getting some weight off the ground. Moving air through the engine more elegantly. And moving air over the body more purposefully. It also reminds us that Lamborghini really is the Sammy Davis Jr. of car makers. Firmly believing that nothing succeeds like excess, Frank. More cars driven CNET style. Standing by now at CNETOnCars.com. Click on the road.